What's up you guys? My name is Sonya Staples with Staples Intense and today I'm going to talk to you about our bathroom setup. A few weeks ago I talked to you specifically about our toilet. I did a review on this Reliance Fold and Go Toilet but today I'm going to talk about the entire setup. So if you want to know more about this toilet check out the link in the description box where I give you a full review of the toilet and tell you how to set it up and break it down. But before we move on to the toilet, I do want to say that Bill the Sellers, thank you so much. She gave some really good feedback on this video about toilet systems. There are numerous toilet systems out there, but this one we found was the most bang for your buck, so if you would say. But Zelda made a good point. For her, this is too short. And I get it. I'm only five feet tall. Um, so for me having something low is is fine but I can see that for a taller person this would be too short or for someone that has knee issues or hip issues this is probably really too short but what she does there's another system is basically a lid a toilet seat with a lid that fits on top of a five gallon bucket if stooping down if it's squatting down this low um, is an issue for you her suggestion was amazing take that five gallon bucket system but then add even a couple more inches by putting a second five gallon bucket camping is for everyone and everyone should be able to camp comfortably so with that tip even people who you know can't get down really low can camp comfortably so thank you thank you thank you with that toilet system of course we have our bags so what else y'all we got our toilet, we got our toilet bags. We wipes, wipes. These are specifically dude wipes, but any type of baby wipe. Um, I know a lot of people, when you're at home, you like to use baby wipes or some type of flushable wipe. But yeah, pack you some wipes. If you do it at home, do it on the road too. You know, we, we not about um, suffering here. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to pack some things, some small comforts of home that can allow you to be just as comfortable when you're out in the woods. Toilet tissue. We use Charmin because we use these bags and everything goes in the trash can. But if you are digging a hole, although this is biodegradable, it takes three to four months for regular toilet paper. When you get biodegradable toilet paper, it breaks down even quicker. Where are we gonna go next? Let's talk about this. But if you're group camping, a lot of us, we have issues using the bathroom behind other people. I like to keep disinfectant wipes in my toilet set up. And not just for group camp, but also just for general cleanliness. After each camping trip, I'll take the wipes and wipe off my toilet so that it's clean for next time. Clean your camping toilet, y'all. You clean your toilet at home, you should clean your camping toilet. So... We have used the bathroom. Now we need to wash our hands, right? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is great. Through this whole COVID thing, everyone carries hand sanitizer. But I love to keep it in my camp setup just because it's easy. But y'all know that sometimes there is no substitution for soap and water. So what do we use? We pack our seven gallon Reliance jug. This is the biggest jug we found. We found plenty of five gallon jugs, but this is the only seven gallon jug we found. We have our jug sitting on our table and then we'll also have soap. Soap, wash your hands with soap. And this one specifically, if you haven't heard of Dr. Bronner's soap, it's a Castile soap. And the special thing about it is that it's biodegradable. Why do we need biodegradable soap people? It's good for mother nature. It's good for mother nature. Just like you need that biodegradable toilet paper, use biodegradable soap. Um, it's not harmful to waterways. It's not harmful to the dirt and the plants in the area. Get you some biodegradable soap. And it comes in plenty of scents. This is the lavender. I love the peppermint. It makes you all tingly. Multiple uses. You can brush your teeth with it. You can wash your clothes with it. You can wash your face with it. You can clean your toilet with it and it rinses really clean you know the soap that we use at home it takes a lot of scrubbing shower gel stuff like that you can't just rinse real quick but this rinse is really really nice so you also use less water 
Walmart's Equate brand also has a biodegradable soap. I bought that one too. It's a little thicker than the Dr. Bronner's, but it's still suitable. I always keep insect repellent in my bathroom setup. Mainly um, because you just never know what bugs are going to be like. And this one, this Bacaritin, black flies, mosquitoes, ticks, it repels against everything. So I like that. You wash your hands. Now you got to wash your body. Shower pouches. I do pack shower pouches every trip. And I'm going to let y'all know, I at one point was not a believer of shower pouches. Even Teresa, when we went to Poison's Island, Teresa said, Sonia, I don't know about them shower pouches. I was like, how about this? I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you two. Use it and let me know what you think. So y'all know there's always that night. You have really good intentions, but you get back to camp late um, and you're hot, you're tired, you're sticky, right? As opposed to warming up water, you would typically, you know, use a, a baby wipe. These y'all, you know how they leave that, that like tacky feeling on your skin, but not shower pouches. They're a huge wipe, huge, huge, huge. Start from top to bottom and it leaves you just feeling clean and refreshed. So I, we do not use these every day. We do not use $5 wipes every day. I'm just keeping it real, but there, there is a place for this. And if you guys use the link in our bio, you can get 10% off of shower pouches. I like, speaking of showers, I like to put a light in my bathroom setup um, so I can hang it in the shower and use. We, we take our toiletries. When we can't, we're not big product people anyway, but when we can't, we try to keep our toiletries very limited. Um, I'm talking lotion, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrushes. That's all you really need, right? And of course, medications. Um, not a chump of incense. Okay. So y'all know the Beyonce song, right? When she says not a chump of incense. Every time I pull out my incense, I have to sing the song. I just, I just have to. I like to use these. Um, I like to take these camping. Just because I like, I like nice smells. So this is absolutely not a mandatory, but in trying to show you everything that I use, I use incense. And I use the cones as opposed to the sticks because there's this little disc that you can sit it on. You sit on a table, make sure it's a metal table, not a plastic table, when we're burning up. And I'm really not a proponent of recommending fire intense, but this is what I do. Don't do don't don't be like me. You know, don't blame me if your tent burned down. Um, but the little cones are great because you sit them on here and all the ashes collect in one. It's not like the stick incense where you have ashes fall. So these are nice. Amazon. Get your little pack. Yeah. And so everything on this table, with the exception of this water jug, will go in this bag right here, right? These bags, they're Mountain Smith. Ari, I had them. Um, Ari, I had these in their garage. Nakota boss said, Teresa, she got two sets, but these are great for organizing your camp gear. Um, they're nice and roomy. And so what else? We talked about the shower pouches, but what about if I want to take a real shower? In those instances, I'm gonna be honest, in the winter time, I typically don't pack a full shower setup. But when I do, I add a few more things to this. I add towels. Um, we have these microfiber towels and washcloths. Washcloths at all. Y'all know we use washcloths. Um, I have these small microfiber towels. I use these in case I need to dry up any type of water. Um, just whatever. They're super absorbent. Love them. And then because I have a, we have a two-room shower tent, bathroom on one side, shower on the other, or shower on one side, changing room on the other, I have a mat. This is like some inexpensive mat. It's not the smallest. It is not the smallest, but I'm working towards paring everything down or consolidating things into smaller gear. And then we use this big guy. This is the Ozark Trail two room shower tent. We've had this tent since we very first started camping and it's worked well for us. But as you can see, the footprint of it is pretty big. Again, I try to keep things 
um, packed as much as possible. So this bag, I have fit a whole bunch of stuff, extra stuff in. We have the Nemo Helio shower. The Nemo Helio shower is um, a pressurized system. I like it. Then this is this is on the glampy side, but in our shower tent we have a teak mat. You you may not know, but sometimes dirt and dust and leaves or pine straw may migrate into your tent you know from water or whatever so i like to put a mat where we're showering just so my feet stay clean and then when i go to the dry side i have a little bath mat right that is essentially our full setup what are you guys using what are you using for your shower system what do you guys, just what do you guys do? Please leave a comment below, just like Velda and some other people. Give really good, helpful tips. So if you don't quite feel what we were doing, um, what we're doing for our setup, look through the comments and see what some of the other tree troopers are doing. So if you found this video helpful, please, please, please share it with someone else that is on their outdoor journey, that is looking to connect with the outdoors and grow in a way that they haven't before. We all need a little information. And make sure you leave your tips because I, I, I like these tips. You guys will leave it in our comment section. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and let us know if you found this video helpful. Also, if there's anything else that you want to see. Um, a few weeks ago, someone asked about recipes and um, food prep. So when I prep for our next camping trip, I'm going to do food prep. So anything that you guys want to see, let us know. Because me and Dakota, we are doing this for you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. And get out there in those woods and get you some good, good old, good old healing. All right, tree troopers. Have a good day.